Hey everybody! So today this video is going to sort of be a first impressions video slash haul slash oh my god field music. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start off with the first impressions. So I did a video yesterday about my Inglot goodies um, and I have used both of these today. Um, I got the gel liner in number 77 and I got one of the Freedom palettes um, with these colours in. So the turquoise, the yellow and the purple um, and yeah it hasn't budged at all all day especially the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow like literally hasn't faded at all um, the gel eyeliner is better than MAC <laughs> um, and the Maybelline one I mean I've had something in my eye all day so I have been messing around with my eye all day um, and it's usually rubs off completely like underneath my eye or if it's just a smudge um this hasn't done that really it has sort of come off a little bit on the corner of this eye for some reason because i don't know why um but it's not really it's like smudged and gone like look like i've got dark circles under my eyes and stuff like that so thumbs up for this bad boy right here so it's the inglot gel liner better than mac yes and the eyeshadows are amazing. I can't wait to get more of the eyeshadows. I absolutely adore them. They're so lovely. Um, so that is first impressions on the Inglot things. Um, then I have some of these bad boys, which are the new MUA lip balms. They are the Sweethearts ones. Um, they've teamed up with the Sweethearts, Love Art, sorry. Uh, Love Hearts brand to make these lip balms and they also have some nail varnishes but I've got colours that are a little bit similar to them so I'll have to look at them in the flesh before I actually buy them if I do buy any um, to see if I've got colours that I like them anyway so I got Great Lips I'll show you these up close in a second I got Sugar Lips and Sweet Kiss so they all come in this packaging it is very very similar to the Sleek um, pout, pout polishes um, so you just unscrew them and then that is that colour it's not showing up the correct colour on the screen at all um, and it's looking really really orange on the screen um, but it is more of a peachy coral so I really really like it they smell the same as the um, the MAC lip tints um, lip balm, sorry. It smells really nice. Really nice. Um, so that one is Sweet Kiss. Um, Sugar Lips is this beautiful pink. They all smell exactly the same. I think it would have been really, really nice if they'd have actually had the scent of Love Hearts, the little sweets, because the scent of them would have just been oh, to die for. So, a bit of a shame, but you know, not complaining too much. And then we have Great Lips, which is a nudie colour. Um, I've got this on our lips now. I'm actually quite surprised at the like coverage that these give. Um, they're only supposed to be like lip lip balms, but they do give quite a decent amount of colour, more than what I was expecting. So, yeah. And these are two pounds each, so I don't think that's bad at all, really. When you consider the sleek ones, I think they're like five pounds something, four pounds something. Anyway, these are cheaper, and yeah, so far they haven't given me a funny taste at the back of my throat like the sleek ones do. Um, so yeah, not a massive fan of the sleek ones. I do really like the sleek ones. It's just the taste that they give me at the back of my mouth. I don't know if anybody else gets that, but these haven't done it so far, so. That's that. There is another colour, another two colours as well, but they were sort of like really pink or really red, so I was like, eh, not really me. Um, next I made a Jack Wills haul. Um, I noticed that they still had a couple of sale items on, on their website. First thing I'm showing you is really, really boring. Um, it's just a Jack Wills pen, but it's a felt tip. I prefer writing with felt tip pens. Well, pen, not felt tip pens, like colouring in pens. But pens that have got a felt nib, they sort of, I find I write more neat with them, so got that. Uh, then I got this because it was in the sale. 
Um, it's a little bangle. Uh, you can't really see what it says, but it says Jack Wills something or other. Uh, but yeah, this should have been five pounds, but it was a pound. And it's just one that you sort of slip on like that. So I really like that. For a pound, I thought that was a bargain. They had loads of different colours of these as well, so I only got the blue. Um, and then I, I'm in love with these. Look at these. <laughs> I didn't realise that these had glitter in them. Um, but it's the fox slit mittens. These should have been 14.50, and as you can see, I got them for five pounds. So I think that's quite a good buy. They've got all the tags inside and everything. Um, so you just put, pop them on your hands like so, and you're good to go. And they're glittery. I love them to bits. They had a matching hat as well. The hat was still 14.50. Um, I was tempted, but I thought, no, I'll just stick with the five pound gloves. So I love them. Um, and finally, oh my God, Field Music. Like my ultimate favourite band ever, 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 ever. Nothing will ever compare to Field Music. Um, they've got a new album coming out on Monday. Um, we had it on at work today and it was really good. I love it. Um, and I've, I have ordered their vinyl and I ordered their signed version of their album from Record Store. Uh, that hasn't arrived yet, but this has. Yay! It's my... 12 inch vinyl. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I ordered this from Rise. I can't remember the exact website, but um, I ordered it from there because if you ordered it from them, you got this for free, which is a Field Music Best of CD. And it has got 99% of their amazing tracks on there. Um, yeah, it has literally got, it's got some, um, School of Language in there, and it's also got one from uh, Week That Was. Um, so yeah, that's amazing. I can't wait to put that in my car. So you get that for free. Um, and yeah, this is the vinyl. I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to show you. Stick up. Nobody is going to find this interesting because I don't know how many people even know who Field Music are. But, you know, I wanted to show it to you anyway because I love them. Um, so I haven't opened it, but I am going to open it because it's apparently it's a purple vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> you know me and vinyl and purple. Um, so I'm going to unwrap it. This is like Christmas for me. I love having a field music album in my hands. <laughs> when it came in at work today, I was like rushing to the playlist to put it on like as quickly as possible. <laughs> this off. There's also a download code in here so you can download it, download the album. Um, I'm keeping that just with the sticker so I can stick it back on here. Um, so yeah, there are the tracks that are on it. There's loads and it's only a 35 minute um, album so you get quite short songs but they're very good. So here we go, there's all the lyrics. I'm covering up my download code for the album. Oh, the thank yous. Amazing. Love it. Yeah. Um, oh my god, the vinyl is so pretty. <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> How amazing is that? Oh my god. It's not showing up the proper colour on the screen, but it is like a beautiful, beautiful, deep purple colour. It's gorgeous. Oh my god. I'm in field music heaven right now. <laughs> so I'm going to pop that back in the sleeve. And I'm very, very sorry because I know that most people probably won't find that interesting. But to me that is oh, music heaven. So yeah, I'm going to go now and I'm going to play this. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you to everyone for watching. I'll see you all again very soon. Adios.